Hey guys, get this. I've got information that's going to blow your mind. Did you know there's 24 hours in a day? Literally, I could count on my fingers one, two, three, four, five, almost five times, minus one, to get to that number. I've already counted 24 right now, but it's just a little bit annoying because it takes just enough time. And really, that's what I want to talk to you about because our perception of time is so bizarre, isn't it? I'm a firm believer that um, within a day, we have plenty enough time to be able to sleep, to be able to do what we need to do, our responsibilities, and still have time to rest to loaf around and still be perfectly fine. But where's all our time going? Well, first off, let's look at the perception aspect of it all. The reason time goes so fast or so slow depends on the characteristics of how many series of important events happen in that day. If you've ever been in an accident or a life-threatening scenario, then you know that it slows down all of a sudden. Everything happens at such a phenomenally slow rate, you can pick out all the details. What's happening is your mind is going on overdrive. You're picking up all these different details. Now, the reason that older people, if you've noticed, swear that the older you get, the faster time goes by. Well, I'll tell you why. The reason the time flies when you're getting older is because there's less significant points of reference that are important to your life. When we're doing something that we really enjoy, we may enjoy it, but it's not certainly important when we get caught up in it because we're not learning new things. Because what are we good at? Or what do we like? We like things that we're good at. So when we focus on things that we're good at and we continuously do them, time will fly by because we already know how to do it and it's not necessary for the brain to take that point of reference. So hear me out for a second. 24 hours in a day, let's just say that we want our eight hours of sleep because we want to be in good health. We still have 18 hours left. I'm sorry, 16 hours, right? 16 hours. 16? Yeah. We still have 16 hours left. Now, typically work is about, what, eight hours? So we have eight hours left to loaf around because we work a job, we're responsible, right? We want to sleep, so we sleep for a good eight hours. So we still have eight hours to just do whatever we please. Now, for a moment, just imagine, if you will, you just take half of that, four, or even half of that, two, right? And put that into something proactive like exercise and or just organizing the house or organizing your plan of action, what you want to do. It's amazing. Uh, I have this story real quick. Um, this will illustrate something pretty funny. I had a friend, um, we were planning on hanging out earlier in the day, and then um, after asking him uh, what time we were getting together, he said, oh, I can't get together because I'm doing laundry. Now keep in mind, this was 8 in the morning, and the first thought I was having is, man, how much laundry does he have? But seriously, have you ever been there before? Have you ever kind of just dictated your whole day from like meaningless actions and silly little things like that? You know, it's kind of like a kid when they're in school, and they say, I need this. I need, no, you want this. And I can understand if somebody doesn't want to do something, dedicate their time to something, that's, you know, but you don't need to make up some weird ass excuses. Because when you're doing that, you're limiting yourself by tenfold, 100%. See, there's a huge difference between needing something and wanting something. I don't need to illustrate that, but let me illustrate the difference between wanting something and willing something. If you were to define something that you want to do something, this is actually putting a huge limitation on your life. Because I'll tell you what, there's a huge difference between want and will. When you want something, you are putting a barrier between yourself and that object because you are already admitting that you do not have that. If you will something, then you bring it into your life. You know, you can't want something that you already own. You know, you, how are you going to want your car that you already have? You, you can do anything you possibly imagine you could, yeah? You can't want something you don't already have. Yeah, you can't want something you don't already have. You can only will it and so forth. Um, I don't know. That's about it. Literally use your time more sensibly. Psst, I'm scatterbrained. I was a little bit like all over the place today. Um, you get my point. So I'll see you tomorrow.